everyone, my name is Eldragoni and I was asked to make this video for the scholarship banquet today. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't be there, but I just want to let you know that I appreciate you guys so much. I absolutely adore the ESA Scholarship Foundation and I wouldn't be where I'm at um, if it weren't for you guys. So I appreciate you so much. Um, it was a no brainer for me to do this video just so I could express my gratitude and share my college journey with you guys. So. Yeah, um, just a little bit about myself. My name is Eldragoni, like I said. Um, I go to Kansas State University. I'm majoring in civil engineering. I'm 20 years old and I'm about to be a junior in college. So a lot going on, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I absolutely love K-State. I adore this place. And um, it was probably the best decision I made for myself. So yeah, um, just a little bit about my family. I originally grew up in Council Grove, Kansas, but my mom lives in St. Mary's, Kansas now. Uh, she lives with her two doggies, Scarlett and Harper. They're both golden doodles and they're adorable. And I love them so much, but um, yeah, so she lives with them. And then my sister, my older sister, she is a nurse. My other sister is trying to be a dental hygienist and she has one year left. So there's a very, big trend when it comes to my family. A lot of them go into the healthcare field and I decided I was going into engineering. So just to elaborate a little bit on why I went into engineering, um, it started when I was in high school. So in high school, I was a very big student on um, getting good grades and being a really good athlete. Um, so I strive to be a really the best athlete I could be. Um, so in in high school i did robotics and during robotics or while i was in this club i learned a lot about solidworks which is a cad software and i fell in love with the process of designing and understanding um how a robot can work and i just really enjoyed the process of that kind of stuff and then I also visited a city while I was on a trip, uh, Chicago, and Chicago just blew me away. I absolutely loved the structures of that place. <clears throat> the skyscrapers just were amazing, and I, I knew in that moment that I really wanted to pursue civil engineering. So that's kind of where that, that fire was fueled. Um, I had an amazing physics teacher who was also my robotics advisor. She really pushed me to want to do engineering and same with my mother. She saw that I was talented in math and science and really pushed me on my way there. So um, I have them to thank for that and uh, also the beautiful city of Chicago for that. So yeah, that's that's kind of why I decided to pursue it. I can't really see myself doing anything else rather than what I am doing right now. And so, uh, yeah, in high school, I was also a pretty big athlete. Softball was my main sport. And I got a scholarship to um, go play softball in at the collegiate level, the division two level. So during my time at Harding, um, I was playing softball, I was going to class, and I was also extremely far from my family. It was extremely tolling on my mental and physical health, and also financially, uh, Harding was a very expensive school. It was about like $35,000 a year. I did have most, a, a lot of it covered with your help and with the school's help and with softball, I was able to um, finance myself, but it was really hard being away from my family. And so I made it, I made the de the decision to go back to Kansas where I am now at. I decided Kansas State just because I have a lot of history there. My dad went there. Um, I also was named after L. Roberson, a K-State quarterback. So I, I'm very familiar with going to K-State games when I was older, and so that's why I made the decision to go to K-State. Not only that, but they have an amazing engineering program, and the opportunities I've gotten at K-State are unmatched. I am networking with so many companies, and it has been amazing. 
But um, I have you guys to thank for the easy transition because without you guys, I don't think I would have made that transition. Um, it would have been hard just because uh, you guys just made it easier financially for me. And so I appreciate that so much. But uh, yes, I, I absolutely enjoy K-State. It's probably the best decision I made for myself. And as of right now, I'm still on the path I'm still pursuing uh, civil engineering, and uh, as of right now, I'm in this great Airbnb because I had an internship with uh, HNTB, and I'm here for the summer working on projects and um, looking at plans and doing all that uh, jazz, and it, it's been a really great experience. I'm really getting a feel for how my classes are applying to uh, real life and uh, it's it's been a really great learning experience and yeah so um, I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys because financing this place was not easy and so with your help I was able to do that and I appreciate you guys so much but um, as for like the future for uh, after I graduate I plan on getting my FE and then four years later down the road, I may, uh, or I will get my PE license, hopefully. Um, and maybe eventually start a company. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't really thought that far, but um, yeah. So uh, I am really happy where I'm at. I am excited for my future. And um, I just appreciate you guys so much for helping me for supporting me every step of the way. And um, yeah, so thank you so much. I hope you got a, you are able to see how much you've impacted my journey. Um, I appreciate it so much. And um, yeah, so thank you, bye.